Hello and welcome to another episode of Corgi Town USA. I am Candy. In my lap is Chuckles, our spokes Korg. Next to me. Hi, I'm Kat. And next to me is Digby. Digby the Doof, a member the of Doof. the Corgi Committee. We also have Booger, Hammer, and Mortimer Barnabas. So if we lose equipment because of borks or frapping, things get knocked over, we lose cameras, we lose lights, we lose mics, we'll be right back. It happens. This is Corgi Town USA where the corgis, corgis run, run the, the town. town. <laughs> uh, but one of the subjects I wanted to talk about on the show this season is um, we're all familiar with the fur. Oh, the fur. Oh, the fur. Oh, the fur uh, and the messes. Um, let's be honest. We love our pets. They do make messes. Uh, we we clean a lot more when we have them. Of course, they're worth it. But tips and tricks how to yeah. uh, clean homes and cars and, you know, where does corgi fur not get? There is nowhere that corgi fur is not. I think we had spoken to a, a guest um, actually offline the pre-interview uh, where she said that uh, sometimes she is away on vacation, <laughs> away from the corgis. And finds fur. And finds fur. <laughs> her corgi fur, she knows it is her corgi fur in her food. Yeah. It's in my garage. So, yeah. In the pot on the patio where the where yeah. the cement blocks meet. There's like in the crack. Yeah. There's, there's fur. There's just fur everywhere. There's fur everywhere. Okay. <laughs> is that something they're supposed to be chewing on? Yeah, I think so. Is it a toy? Come here. What are you doing, Joe Okay. So he is chewing on um, a toy. Actually, yeah. It, okay, it is good. Toy. It is, that was for what God intended. It is Chuckles' toy. So <laughs> we may hear communal. Yes. <laughs> anyhow, anyhow, as we digress, I uh, wanted to talk about keeping things clean. And so I made a friend. I have, we have the, the forerunner, the corgi runner. Yes. And I met a friend who does auto detailing, also has a forerunner and a corgi. Yeah. She has a, auto detail business Ooh. and is going to tell us some tips and tricks on how to keep our cars clean and uh, ways to clean them up effectively and safely. Should we bring her up? Absolutely. Okay. I need, I need to know this now. Jordan Lee, welcome. Thank Hi. you so much. Hi, welcome. <laughs> how are you? We're, good. we're really good. And yeah. we're very happy to see you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. Corgi hair is a nightmare. Obviously, <laughs> I deal with it. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> I know half the time I'm talking and I'm like, I have something in my mouth. <laughs> we get it in our eyeball, our nose. It's always in the it's, microphone. It's on the mic. It's like spikes up and then we're like, did you? Uh -huh. That's just a normal part of our interviews. Here. <laughs> yes, indeedy. Yeah. Well, I want to start. Uh, we have lots of questions for you. We want to be respectful of your time. But I want to start. Uh, can you tell us tell us first about your business, where you're located, how you got started? So let's start there, and then we'll get into our nitty gritties. Of course. Yeah. So I'm out in Silverton, Oregon. It's the waterfall city in Oregon. Okay. Um, I started auto detailing when I was really young and I guess you could call it a glorified car washer. Um, my grandpa has um, lots of really cool cars and so I got kind of started in with my family and as I got a little bit older and I could drive, I got really cool cars and I wanted to keep them really nice all the time. And so I really dedicated a lot of time into keeping them as pristine as I possibly could because I did go to a lot of car shows. Okay. Uh, I did grow up on a farm. So I was always having animal hair in my car and, it, you know, horse hair, cow hair, dog hair, cat hair, any animal, goats, everything. So <laughs> goat hair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so uh, I was very familiar with removing pet hair all the time. And um, as becoming a professional, uh, it just kind of all fell into my lap. Um, I became a single mom of two boys and I was the sole provider for them. And I needed to make sure that I had money. And one of my friends that owned a really wonderful shop, his name's Ryan Hendricks. Sorry. Dogs yanking on my cord. <laughs> like, Our experience. Yeah, we yeah. don't know anything about that. Yeah. Oh no, she's, she's a little crazy. Yeah. Really? Uh, 
Huh. One of my really good friends, Ryan Hendricks, he took me on board as his office assistant and he got so busy. He was like, hey, do you want to learn some detailing out in the shop, like professional wise? And so we put some training underneath my belt. He did a lot of hands on with me personally and I really loved it. It was something that I was really passionate about from the beginning. And so uh, it just kind of took off from there. And then, you know, COVID hit. I was a stay at home mom of three kids at this point. And my husband was like, well, you know, can you find something to do from home? And I was like, maybe I should start detailing. And we have a huge shop. And so henceforth, uh, Desire Detail bloomed into business. And I actually do a lot of pet hair removal because everybody's like, wow, you can't tell you have kids or a dog. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, I've got the tips and tricks. So I'm going to share a good abundance of them with you today. Okay. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I can't wait for this. Uh, I, you know what? I have a question because I was at the home show last week. So okay. I want to start with a question. Okay. Um, Cat's going off the rails. I know. I'm okay. going off the rails. You got your question. There is this, and I had it once upon a time, um, there is this rubbery thing that is very, no, it, it it's like. Cat, it's we're like, public. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's like, um, it's like a lint roller. Only yeah. it's this rubbery thing and it's super grotesquely sticky and things stick to it though. And then you run it underwater and everything comes off, let it dry. Do those really work? I, at that time, I only had probably two cats. Can you still get them? Yeah, I saw them at the home show. Okay. That's and how the that's home show why, Yeah. I saw them at the home show and that's why I thought of it. Um, I've personally never use something like that. Okay. Uh, I could see it pulling out maybe like a good abundance of the surface hair, something that's not too deeply embedded. Right. Um, but I mean, it could work, but if it's grabbing onto the hair, it's also pulling the fibers of the carpet itself. So over time, it'll create more wear and tear, making it more difficult in the long run to pull hair out. In the future. Yes. Yeah. All right. I won't be looking that up on Amazon today. <laughs> one, yeah. One. So one of the one of the things that I think you and I talked about, Jordan, was the the pumice stone. Yeah. So I have a friend. I rent a lot of cars mm-hmm. because we we take a lot of road trips, and I sent various reasons. If we're working a booth, then I want something right. with even more cargo space, but also just to save miles on the on the runner. But we a friend that has, that works in car rental, their detail people said, oh, the pumice stone works great for fur. So that's, I have kind of a method because that corgi fur just weaves into everything. Well, I'll like pumice everything down and then I'll take gaff tape and I'll pull the rest of what that and the vacuum, like that trifecta is what has worked for me. But I have been informed pumice stone is not good for long-term. Yes. Short-term it is a fantastic solution. It works really, really well. It's tried and true by a lot of, you know, detailers that have been in the industry for a long time. But over time, that pumice stone will start pulling the fibers of the carpet up again, making it more difficult in the long run uh, to get pet hair out um, that might embed itself a little bit deeper. Such a good thing to learn. Because yeah. I didn't know that. And once you inform me that, that's not going in the runner. I'm not touching it. Yeah, no, but it, I, like I'm thinking it's good for me uh, just before my uh, mother in law comes over. She's very allergic to the dog hair. So every once in a while, when she comes to the house, that would be good to really get the dog hair up. But not all the time. Yeah, because it okay. depends on what you got. Well, let's let's let yes, let's yes, be yes. educated. Yeah. Um, so, how would you tell us how do you protect plastics, um, headliner things like that from drool and scratches? So the best way is definitely putting down some form of protection. Um, canvas vax is really incredible. They make a lot of really good full coverage stuff, uh, especially for uh, the forerunners. They have it going up the sides so the dogs can't jump on the sides and mar it up. You can also go on Amazon and you can get like the, they're the, called the car door protectors. Oh yeah, I saw those. Uh, yeah, and that'll kind of help if you have like a nice hammock that doesn't have the car door protectors. That'll keep your sides nice and protected as far as like the scratches goes because there's nothing else other than, you know, a good force between the nail itself and the plastic. That's really going to protect it. Other, unless you want to hold your dog like this the whole time in the car. <laughs> Sounds comfortable and safe. Super comfortable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I do always recommend um, 
that if you do have an animal in the car to put them in a kennel of some sort in the back where they're safe and the kennel is strapped down. That's my favorite method that I use with all my animals. Just okay. in case, um, I, I was hit in my truck uh, last year oh. and it was pretty brutal. It almost flipped. So if I would have been, you know, had any animals in there with me, they would have either gone out the window or tossed through the cab with me. So if they were in a kennel, it would have been nice and a safer area for them. So I do always recommend that. But if your dog is loose, that is the best way. Okay. We use, we use seat belts and harnesses here. Yes. I have so some car. Yep. Yeah. I have some car and driver harnesses, but yep. as you explain this, that it doesn't, it doesn't protect where their, their nails go. They still, you know, okay. Yeah walk mm -hmm. around some of those places yes yeah, so there's tons of different options and it just depends on how you have your animal in your car mm -hmm. so um, yeah. another great way uh, that i do recommend is ceramic companies multiple ones have uh interior coatings for plastics which really, is really nice yes so dog drool is extremely acidic Mm -hmm. And so you'll notice over time on unprotected surfaces, that'll kind of eat it away into the plastics and you can't really get those markings off because it fades the plastic over time, which you can restore. Uh, it's called Solution Finish. It is, I want to say, the world's only true restorer for black uh, vinyl and plastics on the inside and outside. Okay. You can use it outside too of your vehicle. Okay. Um, and then I always do recommend topping that with a ceramic coating so it looks good as new for as long as possible. Um, but that's the best way to protect your plastics. Um, and as far as cleaning them and keeping all that nasty drool and stuff off because, you know, it gets on there. Um, there is an, an incredible cleaner. It's called Polestar by Kosha Me. Uh, you can get it on Amazon, so it's not like it's professional only. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. It's highly dilutable, so it lasts a really long time, and mm -hmm. it's a cleaner and a protectant in one. So you get oh. two in one. Everybody, easy. So you don't have to yeah. do two steps. Love it. Yeah, so you can get that on Amazon, and I can send you guys the link for that as well. It's Yes, really please. I, we're, we're So let's see. Uh, this week we've, uh, we're taking a, a few friends who are in town. Um, out for dinner and uh in your prius in in my prius the the one that the dogs you need something that makes better gas mileage like a forerunner <laughs> yeah right <laughs> and and then we're you know we're headed up to washington state so uh i need to submit we're gonna be I, using some links huh yeah i, I need it immediately because <laughs> i need to clean this car it's awful <laughs> Yes. And it smells so good. It has a really like clean scent to it and it's not overpowering. So it's okay. really nice. I highly recommend it. I use it in my shop for all of my interior cleaning and it's, it's, it's fantastic. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. We'll, thank we'll you. get those links from you and we'll share them in the description box of this video and as well as on the audio platforms. Sure. Yes. So if you're listening, you'll have a quick click here from these recommended products. Yes. So let's talk about hair removal then. Let's let's circle back to this hair removal. So um how do I get the hair out from my nose? Oh wait, that's not what we're talking about. Not your nose. <laughs> not your nose. I so my my forerunner is a limited, which I can't believe I bought a limited, but it does have really nice leather, which is easy to clean. However, as you are very familiar, it's underneath in between. Mm -hmm. That part's not leather. That's that strange kind of some sort of fabric. Yeah. So I highly recommend you can get the little um, pancake air compressors. Compressed air is going to be your best friend when you have a lot of pets and animals. Okay. Um, you can get tools. I have a couple here. This is my favorite. It's called the Tornador. Ooh. It's got a little, yeah, makes a little tornado of air. You can, I just used this today, so it's really dirty, but you can see where this little thing spins around, creates a nice little vortex of air, and it pushes into the carpet and the fibers of your seats or wherever, and it pushes the hair out a little. So oh. this is really nice. This is a, um, this is one of the methods that I really recommend if you do have compressed air because it is more gentle than the other methods. So for if you're doing something every week, uh, I blow out my Forerunner probably every week, just even with crumbs or uh, sand. Although yeah. 
If you are cleaning yeah. sand out with this, wear glasses. Otherwise, your entire face is going to get sand blasted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Burns gosh. Too bad. And yeah, if you're going off-roading, that, that right. sand is like corgi fur gets everywhere. Um, oh, yeah. So the, the hornador and your hornador. Hornador, and, yes. And, and um, you're talking about compressed air. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking the same, is it the same compressed air that I use on my computer and my keyboards? Uh, no. So this is okay. like a compressor, like a little air compressor. All right. Uh, so this has a connection on the end that goes to the hose. And okay. so it'll push the compressed air out through here and it'll go straight into your carpet and get a huge chunk of the air out. Yeah. You can look up tons of YouTube videos on this. It's really great. It's fantastic. Uh, and like I said, this is really good for long term. This is what I use personally. Okay. Uh, I always start with this because it doesn't destroy the fibers as much as the pumice stone might. So this is a and, really good And you said it's dirty from using it, which means it works if yes, it's got the dirt it on it and not in the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it does work really, really well and it just pushes everything out. It's good for all the cracks and crevices of your vehicle too. So it's not good just for pet hair you know, in the, where you're getting in and out by on the little step in the doorway, the plastic piece right there, how everything kind of collects in that little mm -hmm. trail right there. This is really nice for blowing everything out in there too, or underneath your seats. Um, you know, in the forerunners, when you lift up your seat and you have those little latches underneath there, this will clean underneath there and any vehicles as well, really, really well. Oh man, that's a great tip. Yeah. That's like I don't I don't do that. I'm like, I don't wanna I don't wanna look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, no, it's really great. This is my favorite tool. It's the best tool. I really love it. And can that I, I'm guessing can that also be used on the carpet and the uh and the couches and chairs at home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So if you wanna haul it inside, it you know, it'll get out if there's cloth seats. I've noticed that if I hit it, it'll get a bunch of dust out too, so which is really nice. Okay. We have a lot of that in Arizona. We do yeah. have a lot, a lot of, of dust, dust in, in Arizona. Arizona. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, thank you for okay. sharing that with us. I'm very yeah. excited. I'm going shopping right Cat's after this. frothing. Are you I am. <laughs> I, I am like a, 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 I'm a little bit of, I love cleaning. I don't Ooh. know. I, yeah. Well, I come love, over here more often. I, yeah, I should. <laughs> I love cleaning and scrubby and yeah. And bleach. Yeah. I, I got that from my mother, bleach. But this show isn't about. I like bleach. it when things have been scrubbed, not when I've scrubbed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> not what I've been to work. But no. speaking of scrubbing, uh, let's talk about some of the other fluids that come out of our beloved animals. Uh, yes. Talking about the tinkly, tinkly, the the upset tummies. Yes. Maybe either either end that come out of the upset tummies. Um, yes. Poo poos, pee pees. Yeah. Do you what do you recommend for cleaning those kinds of things? So if accidents do happen, they a lot of I know a lot of dogs get motion sickness, anxiety, the whole nine mm -hmm. things end up everywhere. Um, you do want to clean up the initial amount, and you don't want to like scrub it right away. You don't right. want to push everything into the fibers. You want to pull out. Make sure you wear rubber gloves if you have them because it's really gross. If it starts getting on your hands, you got to smell it all day. So it'll protect you from any kind of bacteria or anything else that'll get on your hands. Sounds like you've done this a few times. Just a couple. <laughs> just a couple. Just a couple. Um, yeah. So you'll wear rubber gloves. That's the best thing you can do. You're going to start out by removing the big chunks, the majority of it. And then you are going to want to, um, oops, Sky, she's jumping all over, going crazy. <laughs> um, so you are going to want to wet it down with some water just to kind of get it a little bit more, um, Loose, kind of break maybe. it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just, and you're going to want to blot it. You're not, again, you're not going to want to wipe it. You are going to want to blot it. Um, make sure, that, yep, blot, 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 blot. It's like a corgi <laughs> hop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And then uh, once it's all blotted up and the initial bit is kind of gone, you are going to want to hit it with an enzyme cleaner. Um, PNS has a Terminator. You can get that on Amazon, Auto Geek. Uh, that's something that is readily available and that's car specific. Um, Rocco and Roxy also has, I really love their brand. I also buy their dog toys. Well, Sky's got a little T-Rex around here somewhere. Oh. But Rocco and Roxy is a really great brand. They have a stain and odor eliminator. Uh, it's professional grade. It's really great. Um, so it 
kind of helps with a lot of the stink that might be stuck in there, kills the bacteria that's going to be left over. And again, you're going to want to blot that. You're not going to want to scrub it because again, that pushes it into the fibers and scrubs right. everywhere. So you're going to want to blot that. And um, if that still doesn't help with the smell, because sometimes the lingering smell, you just can't get rid of it. Once it's 100% dry, you don't want it damp. You want it 100% dry. You can sprinkle a little bit of baking soda on there. Um, that'll kind of help. And then you can vacuum it up or you can take it to a professional detailer that has an ozone machine. Uh, the ozone machine gets a rid of gets rid of tons of smells. I know it helps with uh, just the general smell of dog. Um, mm -hmm. I've done you know spilled milk before with that smell stuck in there. Oh, I, yeah, cigarette smoke it helps with that a little bit. Right. So it gets a lot the majority of smells out. Um, you can also use as far as um, an enzyme cleaner, you can use uh, distilled white vinegar with distilled water. I want to say it's a one to six mix. Um, and one that, part vinegar, vinegar. six one parts part. water. Okay. okay. Yes. And is tap okay? Tap water? Uh, you can like use tap water. Uh, distilled is preferred, just the, the minerals. Way yeah, minerals. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that would be the best um, mm. as far as like what's in your house. Okay. Yeah. And, and there is, and I don't know if I can mention, so I'll just say that that white bottle with the red lettering on it seems to be the popular thing to use as an enzymatic. That you get at PetSmart. That, that yeah. you get at PetSmart. Yeah. And is that yes. not as great or? You can use house things. carpet. I don't know. A car, I mean, your car materials are a little bit different than like housing, the carpeting you have in your house. Okay. That's yeah. why I would be or the couch that you get that your cat keeps peeing on. <laughs> I have both. I have dogs and cats. Yeah. You're a masochist too. I'm a masochist too. Oh yes. Yeah. See, that's fine too. Uh anything really works. Anything is better than nothing. Okay. So, yeah. Those are just Good things. Advice. That, yeah. Those are the things that I just recommend personally that I okay. use are some of the best methods. But yeah, you could really use any kind of enzyme cleaner. It, 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 I would prefer it to be enzyme based. So. Enzyme based. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. I love yeah. that. So what do you think is, and I know um, things like vinegar and baking soda, those are some kind of safer options, but what do you recommend as far as, I know we're all concerned about the cleaning products we use at home and in our vehicles where our dogs do make contact with that. Mm -hmm. So do you have some recommendations on the safest cleaning options? Yeah. So again, I would go with the vinegar and the baking soda. That would be the most natural method as far as cleaning things up and making it safer for the, for your pets to be around. Okay. And things you get at the supermarket. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. yes. yep. And a lot of times you carry, the, you have those in your house as well. Now you did talk about some other products and we will have those links um, mm -hmm. in the description and you have children and you have um, at least one corgi. Um, <laughs> how, how does she only have one? I don't know. Anyway, um, it's got a battle the with my husband to get more. Trust me, I ah. want to block. <laughs> ah. So, so um, these are the things that you use in your work. These are the things that you use in your own car. Mm -hmm. What is the amount of time that one should wait before sticking the kids back in the car, sticking the pets back in the car, and quite frankly, sticking the people back in the car? Uh, you can put them in almost immediately. Okay. It, so even I just with, wait for everything to dry. Once it's all dry and ready to rock and roll, you can put them in immediately. Okay. That's mm -hmm. good advice. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. And I do have a couple more tools as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> show, me, show me. Show me. She's frothing. <laughs> frothing. She is frothing. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me not to give you my credit card ever. <laughs> <laughs> It's real. Yes, it's real. <laughs> but I'll come there and clean for you. <laughs> yes. So a couple more methods that really work um, as far as pet hair removal, a few tools. Uh, the lily brush. The lily brushes are really great. There's a couple of them. This one's really good for hard to reach spots. <laughs> this is rubberized on the side, so it grabs onto the hair. And you just do really quick motions just like that. 
through your carpet and it ends up pulling the hair up with so it. So no up and down, like no wax on, wax off like Karate Kid. This is just yep. one Real motion. Simple. Yep. One motion pulling the hair out of the carpet. I like to go with the grain of the carpet itself and it pulls it out really, really well. Um, there's also something else called a for real. I don't have one. I've seen a lot of my um, colleagues use it and it's really great. They, they swear by it. Um, I have yet to get one because these methods have worked so well for me. I haven't needed a new tool, but I've been procrastinating and I hear it's pretty amazing. So that's another thing. And it's an attachment that goes on your vacuum. Okay. And actually, as your vacuum's sucking up everything it's it has little like teeth on the end of it and it pulls everything up yeah it's pretty I'm very cool. excited because i ordered a new vacuum today my vacuum broke <laughs> i ordered and not because now you can have attachments and a fur <laughs> reel okay yes a fur very reel. excited very yep. excited and then this is my favorite method if you do keep rubber gloves around, because as you know, friction can be your best friend with some things. Gloves. <laughs> Good old gloves. Nitrile gloves. These don't have powder on them or anything. And I'll actually pet the carpet and it grabs onto the hairs and pulls a lot of it out. Oh, nitrile yeah. gloves. Yeah. Yep. So they're great that. for dog vomit and getting hair out. So multi-purpose. <laughs> Hey, I mean, you know, we, we occur, these things occur to us. This is, yes, these are occurrences. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then if you have a drill, um, my, I have a white one. It's a lot softer. You can get these on Amazon too. You hook it onto your drill and it'll spin up and okay. grab all, but this is one of the more harsh methods. So this is a quick fix method along with the pumice stone right? Uh, to get hair out. Uh, the white one's much softer but my white one is in my shop. I forgot to grab it. This is one I had on hands, but this is what they look like. And they just go into your drill and they spin. Hair goes everywhere, but it pulls it out and then you just vacuum it up. Ooh. But those are some of my favorite tools. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for sharing those with us. And again, if you're viewing on YouTube, we will share those uh, relevant links in the description box, as well as the link to Jordan Lee's business so that you, if you are in the area of Oregon, that you can um, patronize one of our corgi friends, patronize in the right way, not the yes. wrong way. Right. No patronization. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, this is, this is amazing. And I think this is going to help a lot of us. Um, and yeah, cat, uh, cat again, is frothing. we expect a full review, right? Oh yeah, I mean, no. I, uh, right after we, we start about what a genius our guest is. I know, is for... I know. Well, what right after this, I, I we need she and I need to talk. I need to make the list, um, <laughs> and then order on Amazon as I as I go home from the studio today. <laughs> well, thank you so much for that. We don't want to keep you all night. We know that you have a business and children and husbands and dogs. Um, please tell us about your corgi before you leave. Uh, let me get her. Come here. She is crazy. She's your typical neurotic corgi, but she is the <laughs> cutest little thing. And her name is Sky. Her name is Sky. Hi. Hi. She's a We're little in love. Thing. I know she's the best. Oh, yes. Oh, she's yes. so cute. How old is she? She is going to be one on October 12th. She's a baby. <gasps> two she's days baby. after me. I'm not yes. going to be one, but two days after me. <laughs> yeah, she's baby, baby, and she's just the happiest little thing. Is she, she your first one? She is my first corgi. And I know, and she's just been the greatest. Um, she loves to be outside, as all corgis do. Yeah. And I've never had it. She potty trained herself, which I got lucky. I know. I was like, wow. Yeah. I just started letting her out and she was like, outside is the place for me. But wow. um, oh, good girl. She's a very good girl. She loves farm life. Uh, she goes out with us. She chases the goats. The goats don't like her, but she likes the goats. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are herding dogs. I mean, that is yep. what they naturally and normally do. So. Yep, she'll, go. she'll herd all the cows, she'll go after the horses, just trying to herd everything and put them in a corner. <laughs> does, does, here's the question, does she herd the kids? I've heard, I, I've heard. Uh, does she do herding with your children? 
She does. She loves to hurt all the kids. So if they start running, she's nipping at their ankles, trying to get them to stop or <laughs> get them all in one spot. So when all yep. the kids run in different directions, she's just like frantic. Like, what do I do? <laughs> You're not listening to me. I'm the boss. <laughs> yes. No, but she's a water dog. Can't get her out of the water. The second the sprinkler turns on, she's standing <laughs> underneath it. She loves oh. being out in the rain. She's just. Wow. Yeah. Mine are terrified of rain, but we live in Phoenix, so we so, don't get it very often. Yeah, no, that's so true. when it happens, they're like, what's happening to the sky? Well, I do that too. So. <laughs> Oh, how wonderful. She's so cute. I know. I love her. Such a little corgi cheeks. Okay. Yeah. If you're listening, we highly recommend you go over to our YouTube page. You could see Sky on camera and you're going to fall in love just like we are. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's getting that's getting my ovaries going. Like, I, oh, no. I don't need another puppy. You don't need I have another four. puppy. You have four. Yes. Does that make all your corgaries? Corgaries? Oh, cor <laughs> corgaries. Corgaries instead of her ovaries are corgaries. And they're like shaped. Like yeah, little well, corgi butts. <laughs> yes. That's really funny. I like that. Yes. But no, she's been she's awesome. I yeah. actually the Rocco and Roxy brand I was talking about. Um, I got her the little T Rex and all of her litter mates, so they all have little dinosaurs from Rocco and Roxy. Oh. Just the cutest. Oh. Those on Amazon too, and she loves it. It's so crusty, but I can't get rid of it because she loves it. <laughs> You can't get rid of the favorite toy. No. It's like a rule. That's no, true. She, she sleeps with her T-Rex, which is ironic because, Aww. you know, a little. <laughs> Aww. She's, she's just a little furry T-Rex. <laughs> so cute. Yes, but she's a good girl. She loves to get groomed. That's her favorite. Thank God, because the hair <laughs> hair's manageable when a dog loves to be groomed. So yes. she's her brushings and vacuumed she likes to be vacuumed oh that's and good that's, that's really good yeah i was actually reading on one of the corgi forums that there's this little pet vacuum mm -hmm. I, I heard about that i'm very curious about it yeah i want to get one because i know that she would really like it because she loves to be vacuumed and blow dried and just so she's a typical little girl she is she's a little princess Aww. Yeah, this well, is Mort a spot. Mortimer is eating something mystery. Uh oh. <laughs> we have, it might be floof. I don't know. Might oh, be his own floof. Might be. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing Sky with us and oh, sharing with us these amazing tips. Yes. Um, I think we'll we'll get a lot of inquiries. Um, feel free if you have a car cleaning question to drop in the comments and we'll try to get those over to our honored guests here today and see if we can get those questions answered. But um, we won't keep you for the rest of the afternoon. We want to say thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Yeah, Let's we keep we keep talking about going. We were talking about earlier. We had some guests from um, Oregon and <laughs> we want to go up to Cannon Corgi Beach today. So we're going to have to plan to do that because we, we go to the West coast, uh, the lower California. Yeah. So, so Cal events. So, so Cal events. Cause we're close to go to Corgi beach day and yes. the nationals. And we usually have a booth there. So we're going to try to get up, uh, up there and hopefully meet some of our, our Northwest friends. Yes. I was trying to make it this year, but I had to work. So. Oh, you mean you had something going on? I yeah. know. I was so <laughs> sad. <laughs> A bunch of my friends have corgis, so we were all going to troop down there in the forerunner because, you know, I can, I'm the yeah. most qualified to clean out the mess. <laughs> so. Oh, man. So put them all in your You car. have the tools. You have the I tools. have the tools. So and now we tools. all have the tools. Yes. Right. Yes. So that's um, wonderful. We had an expert guest today. Yeah. Yes. You're an expert. Well, thank you so much. Thank and you. please give Sky some belly rubs for us. And we have, hope you have a great rest of your night. Thank you so much for having me and you guys enjoy the rest of your night and weekends. Thank you. you. Bye. 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 So you're going to go buy stuff and, and clean? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I want to get the list and go.
Well, we're going to share those for you. So yes. feel free to click on those links. Again, if you have a car cleaning question, um, drop it down in the comments below. If you liked this video or audio segment, please like and subscribe. We are uh, wrapping up our fourth season here and yes. we can't do this without you. So thank you so much for your loyalty and listening and watching. Um, please let us know what you want to hear about next. We'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, we're here every Thursday with a new episode, All Things Corgi, Pet Parent Lifestyle, from Candy, Cat, Chuckles. Okay. Chuckles, Digby, Hammer, and Mortimer, Mortimer, and Booger. And Booger. Okay, we got them all. We'll see you Ooh. next week. Bye.